Hello, Jamie the Divine Seer here. So I was going to do Leo first, but uh, I was actually told by Spirit to do Sagittarius first. Apparently Sagittarius has a lot to learn. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. They have a lot to learn. They have a lot going on in their life and they have to deal with some stuff. So for all you Sagittariuses out there, this is going to be a good one. I already feel it. So also before I start doing the cards, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can see all my content and my posts. Um, as well as if you'd like a personal reading with me, in the description box is Jamie the Divine Seer at gmail.com. So, hmm. when you like my videos, I get out there more. So please do. Okay. Then this way, I could get in the algorithm and more and more messages that people need to hear can get out there. Again, I say this on a couple of my videos so far. If I'm helping one person, I've done my job. Okay? Causes a ripple effect in the in the planet. And please, 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 if it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. Next. That's what I say. All right. So, Sagittarius is. Yeah. I'm hearing a lot of you self said. Sagittarius have to work on self-reliance and um, I'm hearing not putting the blame on others. Not putting the blame on others. Okay, let's go. See what spirit has to say. Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So you have the Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, not the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. What I'm seeing for you, Sag. Mm. Sorry. Phone keeps going off. All right. What I'm seeing for you, Sag. The Five of Pentacles. I feel like you have some abandonment issues that you have to work on. Okay. Five of Pentacles came out. And that's usually the... Um, I just realized it's palm reading on the Five of Pentacles on this card. So, Five of Pentacles, and I was right, because my phone keeps going off. <clears throat> Abandonment issues, rejection issues. You know, you started to see your ships come in with the Three of Wands. And this is a moth, a moth to a flame. Okay, it's almost like you hold on to something that you don't need to hold on to. There was, okay, let me just, let me just, let me just go. Hold on. Abandonment issues and rejection have been plaguing your mind a lot. You saw your ships finally coming in. You saw that things were going to be different. Okay. You know that things have to change. This in and out energy that you have needs to change. Okay. This night of, night of wands. All right. Hot and cold with people uh, rushing out of a relationship having trouble being available emotionally, not wanting to commit. It's the player vibe, right? But then you have the lover's card. So whatever relationship you were in, and if you're in one now, you're thinking about leaving. You're thinking about leaving again. This is kind of what happens. You have these abandonment rejection issues that you don't want to work on. You kind of push them to the side. You don't want to deal with them. And what that does is it causes you to run every single time. You need to focus on 
what's in front of you. Stop running from love. But see, you're never going to have that love unless you work on yourself. These abandonment issues, you feel like somebody abandoned you. I don't know. It's got to be from childhood. It, it has to be. And then like three of wands here. It's like you have to really, really look at something for what it is. Three of Wands is always about your ships coming in, right? It's about you knowing, having this deep knowing that your ships are coming, that everything's about to change, the future, okay? But you keep running in and out of relationship after relationship after relationship. And you, <laughs> it's like one energy, you're, you're the Knight of Wands. You want to have a relationship, a really good one. The lovers, okay? Gemini energy, Knight of Wands. Another Sagittarius, Leo Aries. Okay, could be dealing with a Virgo. You have the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Pisces. You have Page of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Pentacles is that knight that is the committed knight. The slow and steady wins the race. The completely, constantly slow. Okay, constantly, constantly slow. But the one that's in it for the long haul. You, you got to make a choice. Thank you, Spirit. The lover's card right here, being in between these two, it's like you're running away from it, okay? Where is it? <laughs> How did I put it? It goes like this, like this, and like this, okay? You got to make a choice. Do you want to stay running out of relationships or do you want to stay committed? Because here's the deal. If you're afraid of commitment, why? It's because of the abandonment issues, right? It's because you feel like you're going to be rejected, right? So you run right off the bat before you can even think about committing. You've been really, really contemplating what you want to do with your life, what you want to do. Do you want to stay in a relationship or do you want to go? Ooh, I'm shaking. And this page of cups has to do with emotion, but it also has to do with you feeling, thank you, spirit. You feeling like a fish out of water. You feeling like you can't, it's almost like you're, you're going against the green. You don't want to do the normal thing. And that's okay. Nobody says you have to do the normal thing. But this is also an apology. Okay. I feel like you're looking at this cup like I really want to give my cup. I really want to do this. I really, really want to focus on giving my love to somebody. But what about giving your love to yourself? How about that? Then you have the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. Chariot coming out is basically saying you want movement, right? It's right underneath the Knight of Wands. Chariot is the driving force. What drives you, Sag? What drives you to do what you do? Okay, what's that force within you to do what you do? Where's your passion? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Seven of Swords. Transformation, right? Right underneath the lovers. Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing, hiding emotions, keeping that little door open so that you can rush back in. Okay. But it's also self-preservation. It's also leaving before someone leaves you. That's what you do, okay? That's because you have those, those abandonment issues. It's that whole thing of, I feel like whoever this is you're, you're connecting with or not connecting with or whatever, okay? Whoever I'm touching in with, and take it, take it for however you guys want to, okay? You got to deal with your shit. <laughs> you got to deal with your shit. Because if you don't deal with your shit, you're going to keep on running in and out of relationships. You're going to keep on doing this and running away for self-preservation. You're going to keep on, you know, <clears throat> hurting other people. You don't need to hurt anyone. 
okay? I feel like something needs to end. This world, something needs to end, okay? There's a cycle that's completing, and I feel like if you work on your issues, if you work on your... <coughs> See? <coughs> Somebody doesn't like what I'm saying. It's understandable. If you keep on being this player type energy, okay? And whoever I'm talking to, if, you, if it doesn't resonate with you, you don't have to take it, all right? I could be talking to you being in this energy or somebody could have done this to you. If this person did this to you, pay close attention, okay? Because you're worth it. You deserve more than what this person's giving you, okay? Just gonna put it out there. But something had to come to a completion. Something had to come to an end. Cycle had to close, right? You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. But you got to make a choice, Sag. You got to make a choice. You can't keep going in and out. It's, it's, it's so clear to me with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, do I go or do I stay? Do I, do I like leave the scenario, leave the situation, or do I stay committed to it? And the lovers being in between, and then you have the world, then you have the chariot, then you have the hermit. Now you got the hierophant. Hierophant's all about marriage, commitment, right? It's talking about a spiritual lesson, spiritual connection. This could be a very spiritual life that you have right now. Your past lives could be coming in right now, right into this. And it's causing you to try to make a choice, but you can't make a choice, right? You've been thinking about making a choice. One of these wands is behind her. The other one is in front of her. You're looking at the future, right? Who's going to be your future person? What are you going to do? Are you going to actually take this as a spiritual lesson and learn from it and do the work? Because guess what? Your tower moment's coming. Stop fighting it with the five of wands. Stop fighting yourself. Stop resisting change. Stop resisting, you know, dealing with pain and dealing with your, your in and out behavior. It's got to stop. Whoever I'm touching in with, I'm feeling this very passionately, but the tower is here. This tower is making you move. This tower is going to come and it's going to hit you hard if you don't learn your lesson. Okay, whoever I'm touching in with. And you might be a cross watcher watching for this Sagittarius. So you may understand a little bit better. You may not be this energy that's going in and out like this. But however, I feel like Spirit is making it completely clear. Stop hiding your feelings for people. Own up to it. Stop you know, pushing things off and running every single time something is hard. See? Stop being on the defensive so damn much. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Guarded. You're so guarded, Sag. You're so guarded that you leave people that are so good to you. Why would you do that? Oh, I know why. Because of your abandonment issues that you're not working with. You're not working on them. And I'm seeing this. You think about things. You think about, you know, what makes you happy. But you're not dealing with your inner pain. You're not dealing with your inner... You got a lot of stuff you got to work on. And this tower moment is coming. I feel within the next week... Your tower moment is coming. And it's divine justice. What are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? You got to own up to it, right? I know it sounds like I'm accusing you Sages of this, but Sages are adventurous. They like to be on the move all the time, right? I get that. 
but like there's somebody here that I'm touching in with that has a lot of pain that they're not willing to look at and they're not willing to deal with it. Do the work. You do the work, you'll be able to have a healthy relationship. You do the work and spirit will guide you. They will look at high priestess, two of cups. See what I'm saying? You got the hierophant and the high priestess here. Very, very strong reading. And I just said spirit, right? High priestess. You could be dealing with a cancer. High priestess. And there you are, Sag, King of Wands. Okay? This high priestess, she's strong. She's intuitive. She knows things. She, he, no gender in tarot, right? But paired with the Hierophant, the Chariot, the Tower, the Justice, the World, the Lovers, the Hermit, all these major arcana, this is a very important message for you. And by you touching in with your intuition and by you actually looking at things from a different perspective, work on yourself, work on that pain, you'll be able to have a really good healthy relationship. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing you had something so good. Your angels were guiding you to it. Hence why the Hierophant, the High Priestess, and the Lovers, it's all the angels here, right? You had something so good, and what happened was you sabotaged it. You sabotaged it because you thought that this person was going to reject you and abandon you. And you might have had options. Caused confusion with this person. Okay? You had other things that were more important. And this person, whoever this was, was just as important as what you put all of your energy into. But you created this mess for yourself. And now it's causing you to overthink. And it caused an illusion. Okay? The moon. Another. I mean, come on now. Cancer, Pisces. You could be touching you with a Cancer and a Pisces. Temperance. You showed up in your own reading. There's the angels. Again, the angels were guiding this. It was spiritually guided. This person was sent here. As a clairvoyant, as a very psychic, intuitive individual to come and help you heal. To help you to see what really was there that needed healing. This person was there to balance and help you balance your emotions out. The emotions that you stuck deep down and didn't want to deal with. And now you have the moon hiding. Something needs to be illuminated. And this pain that you're suffering from, oh, I just got pain in my neck. <laughs> yeah, it's it literally, thank you, Spirit. It's a pain in the neck, but you got to deal with it, right? Do you want to have messes in your life this whole time? Or do you want to, do you want to settle down and find someone that's, that's your person? Whoever, whoever that I'm touching in with, you can have. Your Ten of Pentacles. You could definitely have your Ten of Pentacles. Another moth. Moths might be symbolic. Let me see the numbers. You can definitely have your, yep, 7-7, seven, seven, Destiny. Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Two, Two, Partnership. This partnership that you were in, or that you're in now is destined. You could be with somebody right now. That's, you know, just work on you. You got to do the work. It's like you're resisting it. I keep seeing the five of wands. Communication. Eight of wands. I love the planets. That's awesome. See the planets up to the sunflowers. It's pretty cool. I love these cards. But like the Ten of Pentacles, you could have your Ten of Pentacles. All you have to do, all you have to do is communicate. 
Go talk to somebody if you can't talk to someone else. If you can't, if, go see a therapist. Go see a counselor if you can't talk to any of your friends. If you can't talk to people about this. If you feel like you can't talk to someone in your relationship, then go talk to a therapist or a counselor. It's not weak. It's actually brave. I feel like there's a queen of pentacles coming. If you're not with this queen of pentacles already, she's very committed. She's the marrying type. She's compassionate, nurturing, and loving. She's the mother type. She's beautiful. Communicate. This person could be your ten of pentacles that you're with and you're in your own way. You're too busy with this, four of cups. You're too busy thinking, oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know, emotional boredom. I'm not satisfied with anything in my life. Well, you know what? You created it, right? And again, flip the, flip the energies. Okay, get out of this Four of Cups energy. Deal with your shit, okay? Know that your strength, you're strong. You can handle it. You might be dealing with a Leo, okay? You can handle it. There's also guides all around you that are helping you to deal with this, to bring you to your strength. Wow, that was passionate. <laughs> I just feel like this is this this situation, this relationship, whatever this was, was divinely guided. You had somebody here, if you're not with them already, you had somebody here that was an angel, literally in front of you, right in front of your face, and you decided to run and leave and go do your thing and not make this person a priority or an option. Like this person should have never been an option. This person should have never had the truth hidden from them. I'm also feeling like this person that was with you and I'm feeling heavy energy here. This person that was with you kept calling you out on your bullshit and you ignored it and you threw it away. You were like, no, nah, I'm not going to deal with it. We're good. I'm going to lie about it. Don't lie about nothing. Okay? When you are dealing with a high priestess, let me tell you something. That high priestess knows. This high priestess knows. They know when you're lying. They know when you're cheating. They know when you're stealing. They know when you're doing shady shit. That's why they're the high priestess. They're the most clairvoyant, most, clairvoyant, most, most psychic beings ever. They hold secrets. They know. They know deep down. There's ancient, ancient wisdom here with this high priestess. And this high priestess, she's a magician. She, he, hair scent. Magician. This person can manifest. You can manifest too. You have all the tools you need. You just got to deal with your shit. You have a lot of pain that you have. A lot of suffering that you're dealing with. But you're not willing to, thank you, Spirit, you're not willing to come out of the woodwork and talk about it. I almost feel like you're afraid to even talk to your friends and let them know who you really are because you feel like you're going to be judged. Stop. Stop. Nobody's going to judge you for who you are. And if they do, they're not your friend to begin with. You know, and if this person that's in this relationship with you, if you're in a relationship, if you are great, if you're not, doesn't matter. It could come up. This is just spirit reiterating the fact that you have to work on your shit in order for you. Spirit's like, calm down. <laughs> you got to work on your shit in order for you to have a healthy, strong relationship. Look at everybody that you have literally done this to. I mean, I just, it should be, 
it, it, it literally like I, I'm hearing like if you're not gonna if you're not gonna deal with your shit, this is gonna happen to you the rest of your life. Man, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that because this is not. <laughs> I don't want to get too meh, you know, whoever I'm touching it with. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, please. Hit the notification bell. And uh, if you want a personal reading, it's in the description box. Jamie the Divine Seer at gmail.com. Thank you for all my subscribers for being here. And uh, yeah, I just. Yeah. All right. I love you all. Have a good day. Bye now.